Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Manchu. And we are still trying to get the Qing of China achievement, as well as yeah, these banners need a saga. Sorry, this is loading slowly. Alright, I'll get rid of that because we have so little power for missionary conversions that that's not really useful. Let's take a look at yeah, colonialism. We really don't have any progress on that, do we? Oh, we do. We've got 51% here. So we'll try to keep getting that up higher. We are prepping for war with Timurids. Um, but that's another 15 years. So, okay, Cat, please be quiet. Okay. These troops we had here, what were we going to do with them? Did we just end a war? I think we just did end a war and hadn't given orders. Yeah, because we just took no guy from them and fed Afghanistan back. So what's the next invasion that we can do? Well, you can basically invade anyone. Okay, they're tributary of Ming. That's a way that we could provoke another war with Ming immediately. We could also invade Korea. But we'd have to cancel that trade power exchange. We contemplated this, but they have too many troops. I have too little manpower. Okay, so we're just going to send this army over. I move him up north to there. And then send him over there. Got some rivals now. I'm wondering if I should just force another war against Ming. Wreck them further. That could be tons of fun. Now we're going to have some manpower. I mean, we need to get our horde unity up. Uh, but no, we can evade Ming in three years. So yeah, let's just get our troops back on the border. Their tributary is invading Timurids. We have no problem with that. Sadly, our Horde Unity will drop a bit. We're waiting for this piece. Okay. Now, the tech penalty is only 12. Okay, now there's a Japan, and it's pretty much united. It's a little hostile. Let's improve relations with them, see if we could avoid getting them as a rival right away. But I don't think it's going to work. Of our rival is Castile. <laughs> All right. Let's set them as friendly. I 
Yeah, that Kashmiri Delhi war is still raging on. It looks like a Kashmir will win because they're going to get Delhi's capital. I don't have a lot of troops though, so they'll have a rough time over here. We're losing some claims, but that's okay. We still have our step nomad claims. On everything. Yeah, think we'll be suffering any attrition when we bring these together. Let's keep an eye out on what their tech level is. So they're one ahead of us. That's not great. We definitely need to save up these points. Okay, Bohemia's Emperor. Well, let's fall back to here because this province can support us, this province cannot. And we can get another ability here. So there's none for us. We get institution spread in true faith provinces, that's really nice. But war score cost versus other religions, minus 25%. That's probably the best that we could take. Because there's not a whole lot of Tengri nations. And um, this would be really nice. We're going for this one first. It'll be more widely applicable. And we're going to spend these points, hippo points. We're going to save the military points. And to accept. And this time I think Yarkian does have the strength to win. So we're going to have to send some small amount of assistance. So we'll send a single army. That's going to kill their army and then siege out their capital. Let's give us a little bit of horde unity back while we loot it. But not much. Uh, it might be done before that. Okay, so a couple of our subjects just went to war. Mar War just attacked Bangladesh. So we could take advantage of that by just demanding some stuff from them. Is there a one province miner? Actually, that's only three troops versus a fourth that requires nine. They actually can't win that. They lose their entire army. They did. They got wrecked. And we don't need all of these troops here. We only need three units. So let's leave four there. We must always attack. Till we don't have free war taxes any longer. And we didn't get any new missions. A Kazakh has got pretty high liberty desire. His relations are still good.
Customers still struggling their way through this, but they're winning. We got six nine ducats, and we lost toward unity overall, but we would have lost more if we weren't sieging them out. Joseph Ming is over. They really should get an alliance with Japan or somebody. Or Muscovy or something. Because their failure to do so is leaving them completely alone. Okay, let's check to see. That guy's got one Pippa Siege. This guy's pretty good on the battlefield too. But this guy's probably better. Okay, so we're going to wait for the first of the month. We don't have a tech advantage here. Or tribal conquest. Everyone in. Definitely not moving on to that mountain fort. Uh, this guy's actually our best sieger, so he's going to stay there. These troops are going to move back. And we stack wiped 33,000 troops on the opening day of the battle. They have a lot more troops than they did last time. We have four war score, and we're not going to be sieging out two of their forts at a time this time. We're going to keep all three armies right here. And we're getting to the age of cannons. Let's get a cannon. Yeah, so we took, lost 12,000 men. They lost double that. Wow, they're bringing lots of troops. And when that, but our, one of our subjects, Kazakh, is coming disloyal. Okay, everyone's staying right there together. And we're going to get this guy. Kashmir sent us an insult. I think they just have a babbling buffoon on the throne. Single cannon helps quite a bit. But one thing I want to do is this good general that we have only has one siege. So I want to get the second army there, this guy that has two pips of siege. Okay, we still need uh, some half template. Yeah, let's just develop a little bit further. Not using our military points, but we want to get it present. We're not merging these together. Once we capture it, then we're just going to try preying upon their armies.
seeing if we can kill them to rack up war score. That's pretty high autonomy already, so we'll hand that off. Okay, so we captured Beijing. Now we no longer need a really good sieger. We can keep everyone with this guy. And let's just try to kill small numbers of their troops at a time. Okay. Has grasslands. Yeah, but they have a lot of trips there. Okay, so let's wait for this guy to get locked in. Hopefully we can kill him before any reinforcements arrive. Ugh. Lost to stability, let's get that back up. Wait for him to get locked in. I've already got 30 war score. Let's shift consolidate to ensure that they're as good as they're gonna get. Took out another 26k. We only lost 3,000 men ourselves. Wait for them to split up. Sure, Bengal. Still need more points. I mean, if they just want to suffer attrition, they're welcome to sit there. We're suffering a little attrition, we'll move here and see if we can bait them into doing something dumb. And we've only lost 3,000 men to attrition. They've lost 24. They've lost 184,000 men already. We just need to wait for their enthusiasm to drop. And we're getting ticking war score from battles already. Okay, bring it. So they're going to arrive on the 8th and 9th, so let's consolidate those guys down. Ooh, they might win this. Hold the line. They lost. That was a pretty bad defeat for us. Partially it's because we don't have enough infantry. Let's get back down here right away, kill these guys. Okay, let's... So if we can kill them off here. Smash. Our infantry took quite a hit. Let's split them up so we suffer less attrition. And wait to see if they'll move back over here. Enthusiasm dropped to medium. And I don't think we need to wait for it to drop to low. Let's take their cash. Uh, we don't yet want Beijing. We want to take a fort. Another fort. So can we cancel the overlord ship over Yarkand? We can, that's just for a war score.
And what do we want to take? I don't think we want to become... Amper quite yet. Minus one. Let's just wait for the war score to tick up. Uh, we could devastate them a little further, so we might as well do that. Get some horde unity. Yeah, let's hold out. We don't have nearly all of our ticking war score, and they haven't even made a move for this. We just don't have enough manpower to fight them off for too much longer. If we're actually in battles, but if they're not going to engage us in battle, then we might as well loot them like mad. Okay, we're getting a lot of work unity really quickly. Two per month. They might be going for Beijing there. We'll have to see. Losing a little bit of war score, but their enthusiasm is going to drop. And let's get that military tech. Actually, should we... Yeah, let's get it before it becomes more expensive. That... Shock for cavalry and infantry fire will be really handy. Okay, so we could get a little bit more cash out of them. See if we can get that higher. Eight hundred. Yeah, it looks good. We get a whole lot of war score. We get to rob them of a fort. Rob them of that fort, which is a mountain fort. So I got our horde unity back up to 98. It gave us a bunch of points, and we can dump those points into here giving us, almost giving us colonialism. Now we're going to give this to our tribes, which means we can increase the autonomy. Or they wanted something else. Could give them this. Ugh. We use Hort Unity because we have other ways of getting that. Okay, Kazakh. Really? Okay. 
I need two percent more. That's strange. Gave most of what we got out of this. Nope, definitely not giving them that. So gave them two of the three provinces that we took. We can give them this one. It's pretty high autonomy. And now they're happy. Okay, we could order up a bunch more banners if we wanted to. Oh, that's just a loan from Bengal. We don't intend to pay that back. Okay, let's split this army. Let's send six and eighteen. Can we actually get there? We can through Kashmir, our subject. We'll build this back up into an army. Gradually. We use our state interactions to get that. Okay, Kazakh. We got a lot of prestige, so... Placate you down. And then we'll have to restore that royal marriage. They probably broke. Oh, they didn't break it. Good for them. Okay, Han Hot or Ho Hot. We not burn it. Yeah, we already did. I'm curious if they're just going to instantly... See, that's stupid that they could do it again. That was part of our war score. It's about war score so that... We could... Annex them. And we got absolutely nothing out of that. They shouldn't be able to become their tributary again for the duration of the truce. Push this with hurry up. Okay, I think I'm going to pull two cavalry from here. So 6 and 16. Because they're just too easy to provide them with um, insufficient cavalry support. Which was a serious problem in that last war. Okay, we can get more manpower, but we want to keep our tribes happy. Okay, stalled. Now it's present. And our heir. What do we want out of him? Well, we're working on no ideas. We're really far behind here, so... Admin. Let's keep an eye on our time. 29 minutes, almost 30. Let's stop here.